Even though the rhetoric has been negative against uh, the euro, and, and I think the media has taken that and, and twisted it around a little bit as well. I don't think uh, President Trump has anything against the euro or is going to try to uh, himself disassemble it. I think they have plenty of issues on their own that they don't need President Trump to push them. And I don't think that that's going to be one of his important things um, or major things to do. In general, what is happening um, is, is on its own. I think Greece definitely has issues. I think things have gotten escalated just in the last month. Uh, there's deadlines, there's dates that need to be made. Um, and once again, uh, the walls are up against, you know, their backs are up against the walls, and that's why you're hearing the escalated uh, rhetoric about Brexit again. Now, do I think that that's going to happen? There is always a threat of that happening. Yes. Has it escalated over the, the last few weeks? Yes. Do I think it's going to happen? No. I think at the end of the day, there'll be a situation where things will get saved. And, and they'll kick the can down the road till eventually they will get relief because it has to happen. They cannot pay uh, this type of debt and you can't get blood from a stone. A little bit of relief um, is, is probably in order when you look at the magnitude of what would happen if Greece or France or any of the other countries leave the EU. Is your prediction that the IMF will participate at the program that Greece might get? Well, I think that you're already starting to see some rhetoric from uh, Christine Lagarde that has softened uh, than it has in the, in the last couple of years. And we are starting to see change in Greece. We are starting to see uh, assets getting sold we, you know, that we hadn't seen before. This administration, whether you like them or not, whether they're doing it because it's the right thing or not, or whether they're doing it because they have to and have no choice at this point, things are starting to get done. A lot of the major assets, a lot of the marquee properties have been sold. And I think that's going to continue to happen for various reasons, including uh, capital requirements mm -hmm. and solvency, too, that are coming up in 2018. Do you think that we might have a snap election anytime soon in Greece? I think everything um, in Tsipras' power to avoid a snap election will take place because of his poll polling right now is, is very, very negative and very, very low. And, it, and uh, if there is a snap election, he will lose his power. And I don't think he wants that at any stretch of the imagination. So he would do everything in his power to stay in that seat. And so I think that this is a critical month. And if he gets by this, then I think he, he gets an extra life to live a little bit longer.